Yeah, okay. Let's move on. Because um, there is a new Aladdin TV spot oh that God. came out, and this is my favorite thing. So the Aladdin oh, so TV spot. Oh, this is spot, a TV spot. It's a TV spot because we're getting close to the to the uh, debut of this thing. When's this thing come out? May. Oh, and I don't yeah. know uh, exactly the date. Let me find out. Um, like, you know me. I like to ask, if, if there's a certain movie I definitely want to see, because I'm not part of the cool crowd that gets into screenings, right? And that's mm-hmm. totally fine. I'm not going to go out and tweet like, oh, man, I'm, I didn't get invited to the premiere. What a boat. Like, I don't care. Do some right. people do that? Yes. Bummer. Um, so, and I don't get invited to the screenings. I will come to one of you guys and be like, hey. If you have a plus one, I'd like to go see this movie, which right. is what I told Christian for Creed 2. Cody, keep that in mind. Didn't go. Yeah. Uh, I came to Christian. I was like, who has a plus one for Avengers Infinity War? I got one, whatever. I approached you know, the people that I know and love and wanted to get that. Okay. Right. There are other movies where I just don't care about getting the screening invite. Like, I really couldn't care less for people like, hey, do you want to be my plus one? No. And no offense to anything, Aladdin is one of those movies where I just – and I will say this. It's all because of one instance in my life where I was at a wedding and the couple sang A Whole New World together. My brother and I both said, we should leave. It was one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in my life and has ruined that did song for me forever. Did you officiate that wedding? I did not. Okay. okay. Um, so you could leave. So I could, yeah. And yeah. My, if you officiate a wedding and then you leave, rough. Rough. <laughs> rough look. Real rough. Ooh, they don't think they're going to last. The even funnier look is when a, like a mom or an aunt or a kid comes up and be like, the priest is drunk. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a priest. I'm just a licensed online minister, you know. <laughs> or own that. Or just own, own it. it. <laughs> yes, the priest is. Yeah. And as the I know. father and the son and the Holy Spirit. The, the priest knowing is really you, grinding on a bridesmaid. I'm like, yeah, get it. <laughs> knowing you, knowing Ken, yes. who's, who's, who's the same, and knowing my friend Lisa Gottman, yeah. who's going to be my uh, officiant. I did it as well for my brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah. And you, now knowing you. Yeah. I could picture that my the sister in law, not my drunk. brother. To my... Oh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, that's great. We got it. We got it. Um, I mean, would it shock you to know incest. that in high school, my high school girlfriend and I would sing that song in the car oh my God. together? I know it was pretty bad. I All wanted right, well, to. I wanted to just take a break. I right? loved I take her, and I wanted to keep. Do you guys want to know one worse than that? You want to know the one oh, yeah. that Ben and I would sing back and forth <gasps> all the time? Yeah. yeah. You guys ready Come on, feel the noise. No, girls rock your boys. Way better. Justin Bieber's baby. Uh, well, I mean, all yeah. the time. Sure, yeah, I'll give it to you. That's all good. the time. Wait, which one's baby? How's that one go? Baby, oh, baby, oh, that one's baby. Bad. Oh, like baby. I mean, listen, it's kind of cute. I, Roxy. Amanda and I's first. Cute. Our <laughs> wedding well dance did. song was Ariana Grande. I'm so into you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Uh huh. And then we were working on recording the. Um, we're definitely getting flagged star, now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The uh, Star is Born one, Shallows. Uh, yeah. That's what Julie then, and I sing. When we yeah. broke up, so we didn't get <laughs> recorded. <laughs> That's bad. That's a warning to all of you. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah. so guys, okay. you saw the uh, Aladdin teaser, Josh. Yeah, you man. did. You yeah. did say. You did, you're not you're not crazy about that song because they were singing at the wedding. What did you I think just, of the? T- you, you don't want to see this. I just couldn't care less about yeah. this movie. And I know that's a real bummer because I like the first Aladdin, liked it well enough. Uh, it's no you know Lion King to me. He's Lion King's the end all be all for me. Yeah, it's mine. And that and the Robin Hood with the Fox. Those are my two favorite Disney movies. Um, oh but, my gosh! But this movie and I love Will Smith, right? I ju- there's just nothing about this movie that is really pulling me in. You are yeah. you are breaking my heart. <laughs> okay. okay, so Hearing, Roxy, you like it. Uh, it okay, it, that's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking my heart because uh, Lion King and Aladdin are my one and two, and they go back and forth. So okay. for me, Aladdin is everything. Jasmine was my favorite princess growing up, mm-hmm. uh, and then Mulan also, they kind of, Traded oh, off. I love I, Mulan. I loved Jasmine so so much, and I think that the marketing for this movie has been woof. Yeah, I mean, total woof. I, the last we'll trailer we all kind of dug it, and we were liking it, it was better, better because was the first good. trailer was oh my yes. god, and the first images we've seen and everything has just been yikes. This teaser trailer or, or TV spot, which I didn't even realize was, made it seem like they were trying to direct. A rom com trailer? Totally. It was so strange. Yeah, what'd you say? The music pairing and the layout of the story. 
I don't feel like this has any weight on how the movie will actually be. I think they just did a really poor job on this TV spot that that made it like ba-dum-ch. Yeah. And, and what happens now? He's a prince inside, but he isn't the, or on the outside. Oh, add in everybody. But you have to win him with your heart. Oh, no. Like we, There wasn't the, even we a show of the evil. We know what's going to happen. So. Yeah, no, Jafar. I mean, yeah. I think that's the yeah. reason it's a short TV spot. They're focusing mm-hmm. on the love story. They're getting the whole Which new I world love. nostalgia. Which I love. I'm a lover of love. Yeah, and I I like it. For me, I'm just looking at this thing, and it just looks. It just. I don't know what. I don't know how to describe I'm it. A Especially lover of love. when he's in the cave of wonders, and it's and it's like, and it's like collapsing and everything. It just looks like he's jumping on some boxes in front of a green screen. I can just. It pulls me out. Cave, cave of wonders, also uh, an attraction off the 101, just north of Humboldt. Is it cave of wonders? By the way, in the movie, uh, when you said that, it, it sparked in me. Like, is that it? It does sound right, but I cave know. of wonders. I feel search. Like, I feel like I saw a lot in it. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. yeah, nailed it. Um, I, I'm with all of you guys on all of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, the marketing's been weird. The actual this trailer was weird. Um, I, I just haven't seen anything in this movie. Like when they showed us Lion King footage. Now, listen, I know it's a bigger uphill battle because you're using actual people, kind of no names, and in, in, you know, you're not besides Will Smith. It's not right. a lot of uh, star power, if you will, and maybe that's just our fault. Is, God it bless a, you. is it a bigger uphill battle though? They they should both not be. I don't. I think for different reasons, okay. Lion King would be a bigger uphill battle, as you've got the internet saying it's not live action. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. See. But yeah, I, thank but you. what we've seen from that, I don't know. Maybe I'm just such a bigger Lion King fan than Aladdin fan that that I'm coming across as being a bit biased in the fact that I just would rather watch Lion King than but Aladdin. The story of Lion King is amazing <coughs> as well. But wh- one of the reasons I was attracted I to Aladdin you, is because it's a great story and it and it should serve itself to live action seamlessly. Mm-hmm. Totally. Because there's nothing about. I mean, it's obviously gonna be really hard to bump that apple off your arm. Yeah. But other than that, you should be able to pull all of this stuff off like being suffocated in a uh, uh, cave of wonders ca- no uh, blanket no rug time times uh, falling uh, down uh, the, uh, the hourglass bigger than a toaster the hourglass <laughs> uh, such as the yes, sands of time yes it is bigger than a, a toaster <laughs> you know all of that stuff will look so cool live action mm-hmm. and we got a baller cast and you have Will Smith yeah. Yeah. so I just I think this movie is going to be amazing and I think they've just done themselves no favors with what they've shown I us I wonder if it's going to be amazing I have this feeling and I, I it's just from what I've seen and hearing some of the behind the scenes stuff I mean I've heard there was some issues with Guy Ritchie but I don't mm. know if that's true or not you know they haven't put his name on many of the posters yeah you, sure. you don't see a, a like Ritchie from production. the Disney's not the gonna director do that, but... and they're not going to do it from the director of Snatch yeah. it's like <laughs> What? <laughs> it's like yo, Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows yeah, comes. It, it makes perfect it, sense so, to me. It, yeah. It, it, yeah, and when they announced Guy Ritchie for this, it just was like a huh? Yeah. I don't I like is okay. It, is there somebody you you were hoping for? I don't even know. That's my Guy Ritchie directing impersonation. Guillermo del Toro. I could see that. I would love that. Joe actually. Carnahan. Joe Carnahan. Listen, hey, listen, I will watch anything Joe Carnahan I does don't because that guy is the greatest. Hear it from you guys. What? I know you weren't here. Hey, Sorry, Roxy. Listen, I, I will say this. I don't. Did I say it on the show yet? I, I, I emailed remember. with Joe Carnahan this past weekend. It was one of the they coolest moments other. of my life. Yeah, I would. That that's oh, a that's oh, a thing. Aren't you so cool? I am. That's true. Um, but I I don't know if Aladdin is going to do well. I, I just have this weird feeling you that mean monetarily or monetarily mean, it'll open uh, big. Critically, critically, I don't think it'll okay. do well. Wow. But monetarily, it'll it'll open really big, and then I wonder if it if Second it is weekend. a snicker, mm-hmm. a s- snicker, okay, a stinker? A stinker. If it is a stinker, then and the word of mouth spreads, it's one of those movies I could see myself going. Eh, I'll, I'll wait till sure it comes home. Let ah. me let me ask you a question. Yeah, I know totally about and Lion King, Beauty and the Beast. Little Mermaid. Did you guys Aladdin. even like the Beauty and the Beast remake? I didn't. Not that I, much. I, I liked it fine. Okay, it, it was so fine. Like it was reactions. fine. There was. A, I had some. I had some good nostalgia feels, but in general, no, I, I just. And I think I'm gonna have the same thing with Aladdin. The, those movies, I I it's grew up with. I watched them play, over and over again. And maybe it's Lion King because it's not humans, and it's we're getting this realistic look and animated or otherwise. That I can dig it more, but the music is more powerful and beautiful in Lion King, so I think I'm going to be more on board. I, I don't know. It's here's just, what I'm saying. is like, is this all one giant nostalgia play? 
It is. Like, all get, of this is. Yeah. Okay. It's, right. it's so like every agreement. time. No, it's more than that, though, because it's also, these are some of the greatest stories ever. And they have some really great messaging for kids and things for us no to doubt. remember. And also, like, all of these ba- badass characters that we that we've recreated in a million different ways, but these are the OGs. Mm-hmm. They are. I'm, I'm listen, I'm so going to yes, give it the benefit of the doubt. I think at the end of the day, really, what is the most, what, the first thing when you hear Aladdin, what do you think of? The whole new world. Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. I mean, the genie is iconic. That was one of his characters. Um, I think it's, there it is. I think it, I don't know. I don't. Th- I think you're on an uphill battle already, and then so you got to make this thing pop. And it's the marketing. To your point, Roxy, I think it's just it's just not landing. It's with been me. piss poor. Yeah. So. I, and I don't know why. Why they there were so many opportunities to not do it that way. I don't. I don't know either. The excitement for Beauty and the Beast, for me, was like at a four. I think mm-hmm. my excitement for Aladdin is at like a solid two. I'm, yeah. s- I'm legitimately heartbroken. Maybe one Beauty and, and the Beast, my excitement level is like an eight. Oof. Like it was really high. I was very stoked That's about the I movie. That's how I feel about And Aladdin. then I saw it and I was like, okay, it's, it's good. What's been your favorite so far? Jungle of Book. all the, of all the Disney action? live no, action? Yeah. Cinderella's up there. Cinderella and Jungle good. Book. Cinderella was so good. It shocked me how good it was because it, it it just I mean, maybe it lended that story Who lended itself. Cinderella in that one? Lily, Lily James. James. Oh yeah. Wow, Schmow down. <laughs> Schmow down. Yeah. I don't Did think you hear I've that, seen Cody? that. I Thank don't think you. I've seen that. I just, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh,